Even in a market downturn, you haven't really lost money unless you cash out. But this is the investor's ultimate crash. It's the end of every beauty queen's reign and every athlete's race. Whether it happens in the full flush of youth and vigor, or after the skin sags and the legs begin to shake. It's the final degree in the lettered man's education. It either bestows the last full measure of wisdom or comes on as a laughing fool scorning all accolades and diplomas. It is the opera star's final aria, the lawyer's concluding argument, the judge's own judgment, the philosopher's ultimate epiphany, and the accountant's closing balance. It even overtakes undertakers. It is the last vulgarity that our society avoids using in polite company. It takes five letters to spell, but it is a four-letter word to most of the world. It is the worst thing that can possibly happen to a human being unless you know Christ. The specter that stops all ambition, pillages all fortunes, and silences all eloquence does no harm to a child of God. We shudder briefly in its cold shadow or pass its door with difficulty and pain. But that ugly instant will be lost in the fathomless joy of eternity. So do not forget that your last and greatest enemy has decisively been conquered at the cross and proven impotent by your Savior's empty tomb. Paul, speaking about the Christian's death, said that it must take place so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life.